Hello, and welcome to Anchored. As part of our sermon series called Centered, today we are considering our relationship with the church, other believers. Have you ever considered the different levels of interactions and friendships that make up your life? For example, you might have sports team friends, work friends, hobby friends, church friends. As believers, we should faithfully live out our faith in Jesus through all our relationships. But should our relationship with the church, with other believers, look differently than our interactions and friendships with others? Why should those church relationships matter outside of Sunday morning? A few things to consider. Jesus specifically told the disciples that they needed community to not do life alone. He sent out his disciples in pairs to share the good news. He also told believers multiple times to love one another. There have been many times in my own life when the faithful care, support, and companionship of a fellow believer has made all the difference in both times of joy and sorrow. Community truly matters. John 13, 34 spells it out when Jesus said, let me give you a new command, love one another. In the same way I loved you, you love one another. This is how everyone will recognize that you are my disciples when they see the love that you have for each other. Paul's writing throughout the New Testament puts great value on the local church. His main focus wasn't on the structure, but on the people. His writings continually pointed them towards helping each other with encouragement, correction, and wise counsel. Over and over, he admonishes believers to be like-minded, to pursue unity, and he pushed for demonstrated forgiveness, gentleness, humility, and love. We must not lose sight of the definition of church, ecclesia, the called out ones. We aren't just a group of people who assemble together, like friends who play pickleball. We are a body with a common purpose and a shared mission with eternity in mind. This should unite us where collectively we bear all things, believe all things, hope all things, endure all things together. Just like our trying God models for us, we also are built for community. We need each other. And yes, just like our bio families, this is not always easy. However, both Jesus and Paul remind us that the church is the continuation of Christ's presence in the world. The unsaved world is watching. This is how everyone will recognize that you are my disciples when they see the love you have for each other.